In this video, I'm going to show you how to add intelligence to your PDF plan sets through the use of bookmarks and page labels. To get to your bookmarks, go ahead and open up your PDF, click on the bookmarks tab right here, and now you see different options for your bookmarks. If you have existing bookmarks in the PDF, they'll show up here, but in this case we don't have any yet, so you don't see anything. You can add bookmarks manually by clicking this little plus sign bookmark label, and label it manually. Or the better option that I like is to go ahead and create the bookmarks using data from the page itself. So go ahead and click the Create Bookmarks button here. You can either have two options for your bookmarks. You can either create them from page labels or the page region. Since we don't have any page labels created yet, I'm going to go ahead and select Page Region. I'm going to hit Select and select my first region. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and pull the information. I'm going to pull the sheet number here. You can see in the preview here what it thinks it, it should be pulling, and it does the correct pull. And then I'm going to add a space dash space. Again, the preview will update live. And I'm going to add a second region that's going to pull the information from the title block here. Now you can see I've combined two regions in a bookmark. So I have the page number and the, the sheet title here. I'm going to select OK. And in this case, I know the first page of this plan set is a little bit different in terms of the, the title block. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it for the rest of the pages, which is 2 through 76, and hit OK. And as the progress goes, it'll go pretty pretty quickly. You can see here if it's going slow, that means it's pulling uh, bad information or there's maybe different uh, sheet titles being used that the regions you selected for this sheet don't necessarily match. In this case here, everything looks pretty good and all your bookmarks are created now. As you can see here, you have the page number and the page title. So now when you quickly want to find information, you can just open up your bookmarks tab and jump right to the page. This really saves a lot of time compared to uh, not having bookmarks in a PDF plan set, where you would maybe look at the sh uh, sheet index here to try to find a specific sheet. So let's say, okay, I want to find the pot bearing detail sheet. Okay, well, that's uh, sheet number 80. And well, I can't just jump to 80 since this PDF actually only has 76 pages in it. So I'm just going to have to go to the, from the back and try to find where that sheet is here. Okay, I started off at 109, now I just got to work my way back until I get to sheet 80 where I want to find the pot bearing detail sheet. And here we go. So that kind of time it takes to find a PDF just by scrolling through a plan set adds up and can really waste a lot of time. And that's why I like using the bookmarks feature to automatically create bookmarks from the content that's on the page itself already and navigate to those details using the bookmarks. A second level of intelligence you can add to your PDFs is through page labels. And to get to the page labels, all you have to do is click on the thumbnails tab here. The page labels are actually what you see underneath each thumbnail view here, and also what you see in the little number box down here. So I want to create page labels. Again, I just click this little button right here. And in this case, I've already created bookmarks pulling information from the title block here. So I'm going to go ahead and use those again just from 2 to 76. That's what I created my bookmarks from. And hit OK. Now as you can see the page labels are under each one of these sheets in the thumbnail tab and also down here. So if you were scrolling through it quickly you can see quickly without having to peek at the title over here what the page number is and what the sheet title is.